Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time you're watching this. Wow, it certainly has been a while, but I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. My name is Connor from 905 Review. This is our series, Give This a Spin, where I recommend you guys some of my favorite albums. Today, with wandering folk hero Towns Van Zant and his second album, Our Mother the Mountain. Now, Towns Van Zant lived a very troubled life but was still relatively young in 1969 when he released this sophomore album of his. A classic country album full of pain and sorrow. We opened the album with the track Be Here to Love Me. It's a nice, folky introduction to what we're getting into. Not long into it, Towns' twangy voice cuts in, soon accompanied by a nice flute to complement it. Hold me and tell me you'll be here to love me today. Now, to be honest, I wasn't too crazy about this song when I first heard it, but uh, it's definitely grown on me. I find it to be very beautiful, and it just makes me think that I want to go out west and, and just wander. As towns often would. But who cares what the night watchmen say? The stage has been set for the play. There is also a documentary. Is it a biopic or a documentary? I think it's a documentary. Made on him in 2004. That bears the name of this track. If you're interested in checking that out. I haven't watched it yet personally. But uh, it is on my list. Following this up is another great ballad being Kathleen. The guitar and the violin pair together so perfectly to set a nice dark western mood for us. The sun won't shine today. But I ain't in the mood for sunshine anyway. It's such a heartbreaking song. It sounds like there's so much pain in Town's voice with each and every line he delivers. As, as heartbreaking as it is, it's a great track nonetheless. The moon has come to lead me to her door. Next is the track, She Came and She Touched Me. It's a nice pleasant uplifting change from the previous track I stand where she left me buried deep beneath her shadow and the mirror pleads sadly has it all come to this now as we often see on this channel though uh, just because a song sounds happy doesn't mean that it actually is right um, now as we've often seen on this channel though just because a song sounds nice doesn't mean it necessarily is um, I don't know what a whole lot of these lyrics mean, however, they do sound nice, and Towns has a great deep voice that he delivers them with, but, um, the one thing he mentions in the song is how fickle memory can be. While the moments do somersaults into eternity, cling to their coattails. Now this is extra sad to think about because when Van Zandt was no older than 22, 22 years, um, he was admitted to be treated for his alcoholism and manic depression by a means known as insulin coma therapy. And if you haven't heard of it, it's because most countries stopped doing it by the 70s. Now, the practice was generally used to treat schizophrenia and uh, what they would what they would do is they would just inject you with enough insulin to put you in a coma every day over the course of multiple weeks usually. Anyhow, Towns received this treatment for three months and it pretty much obliterated a portion of his memory, which uh, is a tragedy in itself, but also because at the time he was even in university studying to potentially be a lawyer. so. Um, kind of just makes a makes a sad song sadder, you know. Next is the smooth like a summer Thursday. Face was crystal, and she was mine. Now 
Now, it could just be the harmonica in the song, but this definitely sounds like something that would be in the game Overcooked if you've ever played it. And, uh... I don't got much else to add, just a nice cozy song. Next up we have the title track, and my hands down favorite on the album, Our Mother the Mountain. I instantly fell in love with this the very first time I heard it. My lover comes to me with a rose on her bosom The moon's dancing purple all through her black hair Towns gets more of that western twang in his voice, as we heard in the opening track. And there's a flute in this as well that joins him. Um, I don't know if it's his voice, or the guitar, or the bass, but something about it just creates this dark western atmosphere to the song. If I didn't already know the lyrics to the song, I'd expect it to be about like a cowboy or a ranger riding into town to restore order or get even with an outlaw who wronged them. The song's actually, however, partly inspired by Towns' own life and partly inspired by an early 1800s German folklore legend of Lorelei, who is essentially like a siren or a mermaid who lures people to their death, I guess. Um, lyrics on this thing are beautiful I'll tell you that and love not a woman with hair black as midnight and a dress made of satin all closing off the first side of the album we have the track second lovers song beginning with a flute soon joined by a guitar and a violin and later a piano all these instruments working in unison with Van Zandt's voice make up such a beautiful sounding song Ain't the only one to breathe your yellow hair, caress your bosom fair. The song just shows how cool and down to earth Towns was. Um, it's just about the morning after a night he spent with a girl, and she's like, Hey, by the way, you're not my first. And he's like, Okay, cool, no worries. And I mean, People have a, a big enough problem with stuff like that in society today. This came out like 51 years ago. Starting off the second side of the album, we have the track St. John the Gambler. The only salvation that's mine for the asking. So mother, think on me no more. Now, as with much of the album, even, even just the inclusion of, of the violins on this song is enough to enhance it so much, you know? They, uh, they did beautiful work with that throughout the whole album. Picking up into another soft and soothing song, we reach Tecumseh Valley. Tecumseh? Tecumseh? Tecumseh. Tecumseh. Daughter It's a nice relaxing song, even despite the wailing harmonica you hear in it, which is really some production to admire, that you can hear the raw emotion in it, yet they kept it like so in the back that it doesn't overwhelm the guitar or the singing. She come from Spencer, across the hill. Furthermore, the song actually was on Towns' uh, debut album for the sake of the song, yet he wasn't satisfied with the production on it, so he chose to redo it for this album. The song's actually pretty sad, though. It's about a girl who's poor and then becomes a prostitute and then dies. I mean, that's like a a very simplified overview of it. Next up is the track Snake Mountain Blues, one of the more upbeat songs on the album. And to me, it sounds like a very, like a very textbook folk song. I mean, like the pace of it, the overall sound, 
Towns is just strumming away while going off ranting about his women problems and his spite against the world. It's a quality track. Well, Snake Man Blues, they got me down low. I could die in the morning, but no one would know. Well Slowing down and cooling off from this, we reach My Proud Mountains, a song in which Towns fondly recalls his time living out in Colorado. It's such a calming track and one that definitely makes me want to visit the Midwest. My home is Colorado with her proud mountains tall. Towns was born in Texas and grew up there, yet the Van Zandt family moved to Montana and then Colorado not long after. And it was there that he uh, started to mature and kind of become a man. And that's sort of what he, what he gets at in the song. That's where he was staying before his family took him back to Texas for his previously mentioned insulin coma therapy. And um, the good thing to note, at least, is that he would go back and visit often in his adult life. But I'm a long, long way from Denver with a long way to go. We finish off the album with the track, Why She's Acting This Way. Another soothing song and a good one to send us off with. Towns' lonesome yet reassuring singing is accompanied solely by some light guitar strumming and a church organ on this one. Like silence she stands Like laughter she falls. So with Our Mother the Mountain being a cult classic album, to be honest, it wasn't very easy to study. Upon its release in 1969, it flew relatively under the radar with not many album sales. In fact, it even still lacks certification in the United States. But um, as is the case with Many folk heroes, they don't see a whole lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They don't see a lot of praise during their time. It's generally only after they're gone when people reminisce about them and realize how great they were. So there aren't many physical variants of this to, uh, to keep track of. However, the first time it was made on cassette in 1989 is the only cassette version of it. So good luck with that, my friends. There were limited edition 180 gram vinyl releases in both 2007 and 2019, a 2015 re-release on a brown vinyl, as well as a 2019 50th anniversary of the album, 180 gram vinyl on orange and black marble, which sounds pretty awesome to be honest. Now, Towns did lead quite a tragic life, but it's amazing what an incredible career he was still able to make out of it. As is the case with many great songwriters or even just writers in general, um, emotion is portrayed best when it's, um, when it's genuine. So it makes sense that he was able to make so many great heartbreaking songs. By no means did he live a glamorous rock star lifestyle. He was just playing in dive bars, living in shacks, in cheap motels, wherever he could, just barely even able to get by. While Towns wasn't a success to the general public, he was certainly an icon to other musicians. His songs have been covered numerous times by artists as big as Bob Dylan or even Willie Nelson, among many others. Our Mother the Mountain, to me, is a great album. Um, I do feel it gets a little weak in the middle, as well as there isn't a whole lot of variety in the songs, which granted, it is a an old country album, how much variety could you really have? But at the same time, there's some tracks on here I really enjoy, 
and I feel the album as a whole does a great job at painting a picture of what it's like to just roam the West. With all that being said, I'd like to stamp Our Mother the Mountain with an A- minus grading. Um, I considered it in this plateau for, for a long time now. Um, while studying the album for this review and really listening in depth to everything, I will admit there were some moments where it was bordering on an A, but um, I'll, I'll stick with my initial decision. That's what I feel confident with. I'd like to thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this review. Um, it's been a delight. But, as always, before we go, what'd you think of Our Mother of the Mountain? Did I rate it too high or did I rate it too low? Any other albums you want to hear my thoughts on? Let me know. Yeah, that was a good run. <laughs> uh, take it easy. You're a blessing. Stay safe. Oh, there I am. Um, adios. <laughs>